all right welcome back guys now in this one we are going to add the functionality for the play all um okay that's the auto play so what we're going to do is we are going to first add an event listener remember we have this variable here up top um that is called auto play okay that targets the play all class okay hmm thank god i saw that okay so i'm going to copy that right and i'll come here i'll let me just duplicate this downwards right and i'll say that uh come on what's going on here i'll say auto play dot add event listener and it's going to be a click and i'm going to call a function called uh let me just see i think i called it auto play toggle yeah so i'll see auto play you know what let me just say auto play uh toggle no 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 i think i'll capitalize the play so that it stands out so auto play toggle okay it's a long name but that's what i used okay so now this auto play toggle let's come and create it so i'll come down here right and here i'll just say auto play and i'll say function so function and the name of that function is auto play toggle let's open it up so if you remember very well let me just show you you see that one of the um, variables we set is auto play right and we set it to zero so i'll come down here and i would create an if statement i'll say if and then the first thing i want to check is if auto play is equal to one okay so if auto play is equal to one first off i will set auto play auto play back to zero okay so i'll set auto play back to zero then i would or you know what let me flip it actually so i'll say if auto play is equal to zero right i'll set auto play to be equal to one then i'm going to change the background of this play all button right and it's inside the auto play variable the p has a capital letter or maybe i should say auto play btn maybe i should actually change it to auto play btn so that it's clear so i'll just go up and let me just change it to auto play btn okay so i'll come here and i'll say sorry i'm actually moving up and down okay so i'll say auto play btn dot style dot style dot and i'll change the background and i'll set it to and there's a color that i used so i'll just grab the hex color copy it and i'll paste it in here it's actually my color secondary my secondary color okay and i'll close okay so this is if auto play is equal to zero which is the default state right when you click on that toggle button it will set the auto play to be equal to one and to change the background but i'm also noticing here that the icon for the play all button is not what it should be right so let me just quickly um, switch that so where is our play all button so this is it play all auto play so it should actually be um sync s y n c hyphen alt and let me save that and we'll have something different okay yeah so that's it right now let's come back here and then here we'll see else okay 
so else what do we want to do well what we want to do is still going to be reflective of what is going on here so i would actually just grab these guys auto clip ctrl c i'll come here paste it in and i will see that the autoplay will be set back to zero and i'll change the background to the normal background here which is i think a gray color hash ccc so let me just do that hash ccc okay all right so this is the um autoplay toggle that we have created okay but it's not actually all that needs to be done but at least what this will do is that it will make sure that when we click on the button like there's a change right so if i go ahead and save this guy right i'll click on the button to just test it out and i'm not, get, I'm not getting any change so let me see let me check my console just to speed up the Control shift i okay so on cut error autoplay is not defined at 35 okay so let me see where is that 35 autoplay btn okay btn you know i changed the name of the variable so that error should be gone and if i click autoplay so you see it changed the color of the button at least and changed it back to um gray color okay so that's fine right but this is only changing the background it's not actually affecting the autoplay don't worry we'll, we'll come to that like shortly all right so but i think at this point we've done six seven minutes okay so we can stop here and in the next one we are going to do something else see you there